Hello, princesses and pathfinders. My name is Timmy Skyne, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Where, uh... Oh, nope. Not gonna do that. We are close to heading into the first temple in the game, Woodfall, but there's one little thing I want to do first. Uh... I do believe it's that way. Okay, very carefully, Link. Try not to jump down. Just fall. Thank you. Hooray! Blue rupee! Not really what we're looking for, though. Please come close. Like that. There we go. I swear, every time I boot this game up, I have to relearn how to play the goddamn instrument. I just don't want to have to go all the way back around manually. Sure, why not? And now, my friends, into the Temple of Woodfall. So if you're not using um, the Song of Inverted Time, this can be kind of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, or rather, all the temples of the game can be kind of a nightmare because time passes a lot. Like, it doesn't pass that fast, but it passes faster than you'd like it to. Okay, I think there's like 12, 13 stray fairies in here. In the temple. I mean, not just in this room. Let's see. But yeah, the time limit is something that, like, I remember a lot of people found really, really annoying when this game first came out. Like, it was just something that people did not like. Eh, that stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp! It was something that people just did not like about the game at all. And that's because it is very stressful, like, when you're running with the time limit, especially if you don't know about the Song of Inverted Time, which I remember as a kid, I didn't know about it. Like, I had to have a friend tell me. Um, about the Song of Inverted Time. <laughs> and until then, I was trying to go through these dungeons with, like... Uh, with, like, regular time speed. And that, let me tell you, friends, that's... That gets stressful, because, like, you start, you try and start on, like, the morning of the first day. And yet, if you don't know exactly where you're going and what you're doing, Oh boy. By the time you get to the boss, it's stressful as hell. And the worst thing in the world is if you run out of time and you have to reset, because everything resets. The stray fairies reset. Like, oh, it's, it's such a pain in the ass to have to do. And that's something that is like a legitimate criticism 
of the original is that it, it, it relied very much on that as part of its gameplay mechanic. And it was like, there were times when it was not strictly speaking fun. Which like, you understand why, why people, you know, w wouldn't be happy with it. Cause like, it, it was very much not designed to be sort of, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, let me see. Oh, right, no, I actually... I'm doing this wrong. That's how you kill them. You do need to get them close to you, though. Come on, get over here. No, over here, you dumbass. I'm over here. Jeez. Jerk. La 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 a dungeon map. Let's see, I don't remember if there's any stray fairies. Actually, come to think of it with stray fairies, maybe I should just be smart. And nope, no stray fairies in here. Thank God for the mask of the great fairy, honestly. Any in here? Yep. There is a stray fairy in here somewhere, probably up on the second floor there. Fine. Do, 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 do. So we're kind of not stopping to smell the flowers right now. Um, in the sense of, like, I would like to spend more time talking about the art design of the temple, which is genuinely quite excellent, actually. Uh, but, if, again, it's that time limit. I can feel the stress, because we're already heading close to, like, the, the night of the, uh, the, the dawn of the first day. Yeah, the dawn of the second day, rather. So I do need to move around, but there is, like... There is lots of great art design in here, even if, even if you can very much tell that yeah is based on an N64 game. Turn around every time you get a little bit older. I don't actually know the lyrics to that song. I just know the turn around bit. Um You do have to be careful with the bunny hood in here, because move too fast and you can get in trouble. And there we go. So you notice how there's a combat sound even though nothing's happening? That's because those goddamn moths will follow you. Let's see, is there another torch up here? Indeed there is. Those moths will follow you, and they will do damage. Now, they can't get you at all if you have the bunny hood. You just move way too fast for them, but they're really annoying if you don't have it. Let's see. Uh, is there another torch? Uh, yes, right. I need to burn that spider web. But I also need to check for fairies. Oh, God. Are any of the fairies in the goddamn hornet's nests? I hope not. I sense a lot of evil here. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, those guys. Would you just light the damn torch, Link? Bell is tolling. There we go. So those little things, I can't remember if they're worth killing. I don't think they contain any stray fairies. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, moving on. Let's see, there's a stray fairy down there, so we should probably go and get her. Although we probably won't make it before the bell tolls. Nope, but well, that's okay. all of them? Okay. Any more in here? There are not. Excellent. Good to know. Uh, where am I flying to? Oh, I was flying over there. I could have made it, too. Damn it. I'm dumb. Jerk. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. No, go closer. Closer. That'll do. Hmm. I'm too light. There we go. Shortcut. Wow, it's just like Dark Souls. Okay. Now then, I need the bow here. I wonder where I might find such an implement. Oh, don't glitch. Thank you. Perhaps in here. Oh, my. Well, aren't you scary and threatening? Can I get you to... walk over it? No? But the problem is, is Deku... I can't also, also can't hurt him, so. Ow. I would like to have Deku Nuts. Owned. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da.
Excellent. Now, let's see. Is there anything in here I need to hit with the bow in order to do a thing? I cleaned all the water. And those flowers down there, by the way, uh, it, before, the thing was, they would uh, try and close on me and kill me um, whenever I was standing on them, if I didn't move away fast enough. Are you sparkling? Yes, you are. Okay, there's still a fairy in here. Fair enough. But now, it's chilled out some. Oh, there she is. Hello. Hey, miss. That's seven. There's still like six or seven more to go. Let's see, I don't remember what this does. Well, nothing. Until I get a little heavier. Oh, cool. And another stray fairy. Excellent. Right, so now... Oh, I remember. I remember. This bit. There we go. Set all the things on fire. <laughs> okay, that was probably not smart. Let's see. This is one thing I kind of missed from playing the... Shouldn't waste too many more hours. 3DS version is you could... There we go. That's temporary, right? You could aim with motion controls, which was actually really accurate. Yeah, it's temporary. Well, that's annoying. All right, then. Oh, no. Damn it. All right, one more time. By the way, notice something subtle that happens when I pop into a Deku flower. You notice how the focal length of the in-game camera changes? Like, it, it pulls out, it gets a, just a little bit more wide lens and gives you a slightly wider view of the room as you're looking around. I always thought it was a very cool little effect. Which presumably, I, I don't even know if that was in the original N64 version or not. I kind of feel like it probably wasn't. But I wouldn't actually know. Because it seems like the kind of effect that would be tailor-made to take advantage of the 3DS's 3D function. Uh, let me just... <laughs>
Would you like to please come up here? Thank you. Oh, there's more than 12 then. Uh, this is a problem. Yeah. Not really what I had in mind, gotta be honest. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Okay, back to Link. There we go. Bunny Hood gave me just enough momentum. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Ooh, I probably won't be able to make that. Nope. I have to get the one underneath the thing. Ugh, fine. Dun 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 dun, dun jumping puzzle. I should probably wait for the fire to come back. And then deactivate it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Six times the charm. Amazing how that flower stays intact despite being surrounded by fire most of the time. Okay, uh, is there anywhere over there I need to go? No, I don't think so. And I will be alright without, like, those rupees, like, those, those, uh, red 20 rupee rupees, they are bait. Completely bait. Oh, right, no, I can't, I can't go in there yet, because I don't have the, I don't have the boss key. Oh, right. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, Link. <laughs> he was trying to do such a pretty swan dive. He just face planted. <laughs> oh, poor kid. I do put him through a lot, don't I? Right, we need to go get the boss key, then we come back here. Oh well, we got the stray fairies, that's something. So, maybe this way? Oh, I should check. Any more stray fairies in here? Nope. How about in here? Nope. Let me show you the map, by the way. Just so you can follow along. Any in here? Yep, definitely active. Hey! That's 13, and that's the only one in here, apparently. Sweet. Right. Um, shoot the eye! Which, I don't know, that seems very rude, but... Oh, bugger that for a lark. Now here comes the fun part. No, into the flower, please, Link. Oh, 
It's because he's invulnerable anytime he's on the damn thing. This will be the last one. Damn it! Finally, Jesus. Frog. I don't remember if, uh, no, it doesn't do anything for that. Okay. Busky. Okay, we're making good time. So that's nice. So that means we can spend a little bit of time, well, running around collecting the other stray fairies. Which rooms haven't I been in? All right, I've, there's a room down in the basement I haven't been in yet. Okay. And we can look a little bit at this place, this Woodfall Temple. Like, there's some lovely graffiti on the walls, for example. And, like, all of these intricate, like, you can see flower and leaf designs. And even, like, on the doors, you can see it's mo the motif is tree roots. Like, stretching all over the doors, and there's butterflies. And, like, there's, there's a lot of really great art design in these temples. That just really does make it feel like, oh, yeah, th th like, those are the images that a race of plant people would concern themselves with. Get over here. Let's see, what room haven't I been in? That one over there. Any more stray fairies in here? Oh, yes, there are. And I think I know where it is. There it is. Is the one in the other one? That's 14. Can't be many more than that. Nope, there's just wasps in that one. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Excuse me, excuse me. Nope, nope. Oh, bugger. Ah! Piss off! Jerks! Oh, it would be nice if that was the last fairy. No, it's the compass. Oh well. I'm gonna sing that every single goddamn time, aren't I? It's such a good little melody. Like, it's, it makes you feel so excited for whatever's about to happen. Oh, it also shows where the straight fairies are, the compass. I didn't remember that. So this, so the last fairy is up on the second floor, I guess? Okay. Cool with me. We'll go and get her. And then hopefully we have time enough to return all the stray fairies to the great fairy's room. Oh, hang on. Don't want to go that way. I want to go up. Please. Uh, now where do I want to go? I don't want to go that way, but I do want to go... Which way the hell do I want to go to get there? 
up another flight of stairs? I think so. So the room I'm looking for is the one that has the chest over there. I don't know if you guys can see it on the map. I hope you can. Apparently I'm missing a chest. Missing a chest in here. Is that one that shows up when I defeat all the enemies? Is that it? There's the last ones there. Is that all of them? Yay! That had better be the last fairy then. Come out, come out. Hooray! Excellent. Now let's go kick some ass. If you knock me out of the sky and down on the floor and down through one of the holes, I swear to God. Excellent. And now, now it is boss fight time. And this boss is actually kind of a bastard. I don't know if he's as much of a bastard in the remake as he is in the original, but in the original he's a bastard. is nice. At this pace, we'll be able to finish the temple and move on to other stuff. All within the span of one video. Don't knock me out of the sky. Don't do it. Don't do it. Jerk. I really hope those pots over there have some arrows in them. Nope. Nope. Oh, well. Onward ho! But he's also a very cool boss. And oh, by the way, look at the door behind Link, that flower motif, and look at the, like, all the tree roots and stuff that... Oh god. So that's, uh... That's his big weak point. His big and painfully obvious weak point, which we have to get to. And as you can see, he's not inclined to make that easy for us. I think they actually made him a little easier in the remake. I don't remember. Can't remember if they made him easier or harder, because he was a bastard in the original. Darn it. Come on. down. Yeah. Which are useful, because uh, they drop arrows. I believe. 
but like he doesn't stop coming at you in the meantime, so. Thank God. Okay. He can be much more difficult than that. But I think they make him easier in the remake. I can't remember. Still, I'm pleased with that. That's a good time. Not that I'm a speedrunner, but... Sweet. And again, like, look at the sort of um, South or Middle American inspired imagery, like with the statues. And the butterflies, like, this looks like it would be a holy place to, like, people of a flower culture, of a, of a plant-based culture. And I also like, um, uh, let me see if I can... I also really like that. I like that there is that sort of root network up there. Anyway. You seized Odalwa's remains. In doing so, you freed the innocent spirit that was imprisoned within this dark mask. And say hello to one of the best character designs in this game. I love these guys so much. What's that? Because again, like, these are the good guys, but holy shit do they also look like something that would show up in nightmares. Like, they show up and they just scream at you. Wait, listen, it seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of trying to teach us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there. Get your instrument. And by the way, like, the job the composer has in this game, like, because you have one, two, three, four, five notes. And every single ocarina song in the game has to be constructed out of those. And every single one of them is memorable. Every single one of them is good. That's really fucking hard. Like, they're just heads with arms and these huge legs. They look like titans, in a way. Like, they look like, like, ancient colossuses. They look inhuman. Like, they don't... There's something about them that just doesn't look right, but they also don't look evil. Like, they don't look malicious or anything. They just look like, oh, they come from a place that people aren't necessarily meant to go. Call us. That's what it's saying. And it's such good character design. And say goodbye to the poison swamp. Woodfall has been cleansed.
four people that Tail talked about, you think one of them was the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, you are pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? <laughs> you could say that. Now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey! Um... Oh, all that stuff I did to you? Your horse? I... I, I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologize, so don't hold me against me. Don't hold me against me, got it? Now then, let's hurry and help that princess and the monkey men that the monkey mentioned. After all, our next stop is the mountains. We've just got to do some... After that, our next stop is in the mountains. We've just got to do something about that skull kid. Speaking of princesses... By the way... I love those flowers, like with the tongues hanging out. I don't know why they look like that. It's just cool. Say hello to the Deku princess. She's adorable. Ah, who are you? Zetra, pleased to meet you. I'm the Deku princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha, just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So then the monkey made it that fine after all. That's good. I was worried that when I didn't come home, father would think that that monkey had kidnapped me. <laughs> I was worried that my father would even go as far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> you don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father! <laughs> I love her character design, too. She's such a character. Like, look at her. Like, with the, the giant earrings and the hair, like, made out of the leaves and the flower crown. And, like, the eyes that are a little sad with those circle eyebrows up top. It's, uh, it's such an adorable character design. Quickly, Mr. Citra, could you find something to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? Yes. Yes, I can, my dear. I have just a thing. I'll just ask this friendly fairy to vacate the space. Plunk! <laughs> you put the Deku Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. Uh, Mr. Citra, there's no time to lose! Harry, take me to the palace! <laughs> I cannot do little girl voices for the life of me, especially not anime little girl voices. Now, we have a thing that we need to do before we leave, and it is fairy-related. Oh, right, you can't stand on those things when you're not a Deku flower guy. Because I really want to be able to make it back to Clock Town. And deposit my money. <laughs> before we have to reset time. Which shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem at all. But first... Let's do something nice. <laughs> oh, wise young one, I'm the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. So finding that all the fairies in the temple is completely optional, but the bonuses they give you are quite useful, like that. Doubling my magic power is very nice, and it's going to come very much in handy um, with certain later transformations. <laughs> Cool. 
Hooray! Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. And now, let's make haste. Um, probably the faster... Is it faster to go by foot or is it faster to... Well, let's go by foot. Just on principle. So I can... So we can see the swamp in all of its restored glory. So we can see how nice this place used to be. See? Isn't this nice? I think it is. Well, not really what I wanted you to do there, Link, but okay. It's quite a pleasant swamp, isn't it? Well then, hot, isn't it? The monkey shall suffer and suffer and suffer till he can suffer no more. You shall know the wrath of a king whose darling princess were taken away from him. Do you mean this princess? No, oh, my princess, my darling princess, you are all right. I was so worried. Let that monkey go this instant! Oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Ah, uh, yes. Thanks to Mr. Citra here. I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Citra, are you? Well, no, I'm called Link, but this is emulator. Thank you for keeping your promise to me. As a simple... As a simple of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that'll be to your right when you leave the palace. Oh, right. We do need to go and get that. Now the hasty decision making is my weakness. This time more than ever, it's become clear to me. Oh, strange traveler, there's little I can do. Please rest a bit before going. It seems our butler has taken somewhat of a liking to you, Mr. Citra. I believe you'll find him waiting in the shrine. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. But please forgive me if I refuse to ever ride in that tiny little bottle again. Yeah, we're about to punish an innocent monkey. Has the poison swamp been cleared up? That means we can now go to those places we couldn't get to before. More than anything, I'm just glad the princess has returned safely. You could charge your form, right? Very strange indeed. Chitra, I'm sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and deco scrubs can start getting along again. You know, the swamp may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. Maybe the giant moon that's about to crash down and destroy us all? But no, no, sure, I'm sure it's fine. I can just swim, by the way, but, you know. 
But yeah, we're making good time. We should be able to get back to Clock Town way well before time expires. Here's hoping. Oh, sister, I'm truly thankful for what you've done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we take her every care something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Please follow me. See, I'm cheating a little bit here. Because normally your fastest option is to remain a Deku and use the Deku spin to gain speed uh, enough to be following the butler. Because if you don't follow him along fast enough, uh, this is a race, you see. If you don't follow him along fast enough, you get locked in and you kind of you lose, as it were. As you can hear, gates are closing behind me. But because I have the bunny hood, well... As you can see, no trouble. And this is a mini game where like you can race the butler. And if you get a good time, you'll get I think a piece of heart or something. Yeah. It's really easy to lose this, by the way. It's really easy to lose it if you don't know what you're doing. And I can't remember, like, every part of this either. But having the bunny hood is just such a huge advantage, it doesn't really matter. Which is why I went to the trouble of getting it, because, like, there's so many situations that are just made way less troublesome to deal with by the bunny hood. Yeah, well done, Citra. Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. The mask of sense. <laughs> Wear it to heighten your sense of smell. <laughs> That's the smell of power. Actually, when I see you, I'm... Reminded of my son, who left home long ago. It felt as though I was once again racing my son. I may have tried too hard to outrun you, <laughs> as old as I am, and still fast. Just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. Uh, you can find the way out through that light over there. Uh, I look forward to meeting you again. Citra, take care. We know who his son is, by the way. We have met him already. Uh, ah, there it is. a thing I want to do before we go back to Clock Town. I want to try and see if I can get a picture of the Octo Rock. If it's even still around now. But yeah, as you can see, clearing out uh, the swamp makes getting around here a million times easier. And it, it gets rid of a lot of the enemies, it makes the whole area just much, much friendlier to traverse. So that's like a, a nice way in which your actions affect the world in a way that feels a little bit permanent. Yeah, I know the Octorok is gone. Well, that's fine. He'll be back.
I suppose at this point, then, there's... Yeah, I don't think there's anything left to do except to go back to Clock Town and... Yeah, uh, now that we have, like, uh, well, there's one thing we can do. We have the mask now. Which means we can... Oh, wait, that's not this way. We can head over to the potion shop. And do a thing. The trouble with that thing is I can't remember if it's actually permanent. But I guess we'll find out. Let's see. So theoretically, there should be cloud here somewhere showing where a mushroom is. I don't remember where. Oh, there it is. Uh, I guess... Is it... Yes, it's a bottle. I really hope this is permanent, because it would be very annoying to have to do that every time. <laughs> oh, welcome! My potions work very well, you know? Mortar scent! Oh, you did a great job finding this one! I just haven't been able to get my hands on any of them, and that put me in a real pinch. Well, I can use this to make something, so come back later! There. And then if I go out, and then go back in... No, uh... There we go. Blue potion! It replenishes health and magic. And I believe it's permanently un I hope it's permanently unlocked after this. It would be annoying if it wasn't, but here's hoping. Okay, I can't think of anything else uh, to that I need to do. So let's head back to Clock Town, deposit some money, and probably call this episode to a close. Having successfully completed Woodfall Temple. I was worried about those damn stray fairies, because like, I, I remember playing this game, there's always like this one stray fairy that's just somewhere where you can't bloody find it. But no, not this time. That was lovely. There we go. That's about all I can do. Thank God you get to keep the bottles. <laughs> Ah, 
The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Well, we're not going to the mountains just yet, Tattle. Bum, bum, bum. It's weird trying to play these songs on like an Xbox controller. <laughs> Isn't it nice that we saved Woodfall? That we made the world all better? Defeated that ancient evil, released that magic spirit? Yeah, thank God we, uh... Thank God we... Fixed this place. Hail the conquering hero, huh? Just before we end, I just I just do want to show you. That all this heroism. Fuck off! Oh, that's annoying. And I don't have any arrows, so it's not like I can... I just want to get to the goddamn Swamp Temple. Or the swamp Palace, rather. Come down closer, you little bastard. Okay. Now we should be able to make it. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bugger that for a lark. So... <laughs> this is so pointless. What I wanted to show you was that not only has the swamp gone back to the way it was, the monkey is still captured in the Deku Palace. The princess is still missing. Yeah, we got the mask, we freed that god, but if we go back to Woodfall Temple, the boss will still be there for us to defeat. He's still, even though he doesn't have... Like, it's a bit of a time paradox thing, but even though we have freed that spirit from inside the uh, confines of the boss, we have not actually saved this place permanently. We saved it temporarily, made it a nice habitable place to be, but once the three days are up, all the good we did goes straight with it. And that's one of the ways in which this game makes you feel really not very heroic at all. <laughs> Actually, better idea. I'll just reset time again and go back to Clock Town and save, and then we'll call this episode to a close. It's not like I have anything to lose. <laughs> But yeah, that's the thing. Now, the... Uh, and, oh yeah, by the way, the, the Great Fairy of Magic? She's also still shattered and scattered across the land, as indeed is the Great Fairy in this town, if we go looking for her. So that's the, that's the paradoxical thing, is like, as, as Link in this game, you can save the world. Certainly. But... Like, you can only really stop the moon from falling down. Everything else... Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But if you'd like to explore that further with me, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel, because because this is where the, the this is where we're playing the game. So if unless you subscribe here, then you're not gonna 
that's how YouTube works. Uh, and also, if you want to click some buttons that surround this video, then I'd be very grateful for that because YouTube determines whether or not your video gets pushed in the algorithm, partly at least, by how many people bother to click the buttons that surround the videos. That's called engagement, which is the toxic poisonous word that I, word that I hate, but it's one that I'm dependent on. So if you want to help me out, that's a way you can do that. If you want to help other YouTubers who you like out, then that like button actually matters a great deal more than it seems. Um, if you want to support the channel more directly, then I have a Patreon, I have a merchandise store, I have a tip jar, those are all available, and probably the cheapest way to support me is memberships on this channel, which cost, I think, a dollar a month, and you get a little icon next to your name in the comments, and, uh, you get special emoji when we stream, and we're gonna be streaming soon, actually, uh, probably we'll already, already have streamed by the time this goes up. Or maybe not. I can't quite... I need to figure out scheduling. But anyway, we're going to be doing Portal and Portal 2. So if you want to have special emoji while we're doing that, you should probably have had memberships yesterday? I'm not sure. Uh, you, it's up to you to figure out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to wash your hands.